at Bayrep, we make products that enhance and save lives. The intent and sole mission was to help researchers find the cure for type 1 diabetes. Not the treatment, but the biological cure for type 1 diabetes. And now we offer contract manufacturing services for the medical device industry. Currently, we design and manufacture class 1 and class 2 medical devices. When you're new to the medical device world, it is like drinking from a fire hose of information between regulations, testing, FDA requirements, design requirements, manufacturing requirements. It's, it's overwhelming how many different disciplines you need to know about and how many different regulations you need to comply with. Our end goal is to always improve patients' lives. And how we do that, there's a lot of different ways. Um, but what I like is that we have a very like, large breadth of technologies, right? So we're talking about helping you know, world-renowned surgeons, improving diabetes research, a doctor, a dentist, whoever, like, comes into the office one day with an idea not really fleshed out and we can also work with them. There's many ways of making a medical device. You can hire all these companies. This company designs it for you. This company machines a component for you. This company does injection molding for you. And then you have to kind of put it all together. And that's all. You design it, then you're here. Then you hand it off to the injection molding company. Oh, you have to re redesign it. And so it's always this back and forth process. I feel like with us being vertically integrated, it's a much smoother process. There's no, there's no setbacks like you would find when, you have, when you're working with different companies. If you're talking about a product that you make thousands of, right, um, and every day counts, you're making hundreds of this product every single day. If you're down one day in production, that's, that's hundreds of products, right? So if you have engineering right next door within your facility and you're down in the morning, you can, you can be back up and running within a couple hours and you don't have to lose the entire day. Everyone thinks, oh, I just comply with the regulations and I'm done. But the reality is there's strategies involved with, with regulations so that you can get into the market as fast as possible. Some people will change the patients that they want to treat. Say, we're going to only treat this population first. Great development processes are not born overnight. Our process took over 20 years to develop. And it aligns with the discipline required by the FDA. This leads to risk mitigation and a more efficient path to market. Our customers might want to expand immediately. They might want to expand later into the future. They might want to have initial markets worldwide. We've included a lot of the requirements that may be specific to Europe, may be specific to Australia, may just be specific to the United States into one document. So when we do want to expand, a lot of those requirements are already being met. A design history file is like a briefcase that starts day one when you start designing your product and ends when you're ready to start manufacturing. It is critical that your design history file is complete, accurate, and thorough as that enables FDA approval and a smooth transition to manufacturing for the product life. Bringing design and manufacturing all under one roof eliminates a lot of headaches improves the auditing process, saves a lot of time, and a lot of money. One lost test, one failed test, one design flaw can cost you a submission, can cost you money, can cost you units. But with us, what we can do is we can help guide them. We've done FTA submissions. We know what they're looking for. We know what needs to go in there. One of the benefits of our five-phase program is that we're confident that everything that needs to be there, all the testing, all of the, the risk matrices, everything is documented in the submission. We always say, well, this medical device can be used in your mom. And, and you don't want a suboptimal product being used in your mom. Even seasoned people in the industry don't think about this kind of end-to-end -end partner because it's rare and difficult to do, but we see it as the future. And being first to market is being first to market. Everything that we're working on directly affects people. We're not out here making toys. We're here making devices that'll truly impact and save people's lives. Byrup's commitment is not to make money. Our commitment is to save lives because at the end of the day, there's a person out there that needs this device to save their life. It's really motivating for everyone that works here to be able to be part of something bigger than us. 
there's really nothing much more fulfilling.